Your holiday memory. Visit coastcoast.com.au. Queensland Institute of TAFE and they have got location oh, one. And um, TAFE Western from New South Wales have drawn position number two. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, they're just telling you what the bricks are. I'll look at the paperwork. When you come out here, you, you kind of you test your skills a bit. So, yeah, it's, well, on the job site, it's nothing like this. Uh, this is decorative, a lot of skill involved. And on the job site, it's just straight walls. Well, working with my lecturer, it was good having him there and good getting advice off him. But then you also you don't want to let him down, so there's a bit of stress involved, I guess. The best thing about laying concrete blocks, or well, it's sort of a different sort of um, skill, I guess. So you've got to have a different skill involved, and it's good to do different stuff. Different technique. Yeah, different technique. Different technique, yeah. Goes up pretty quick. Uh, it's a lot different. You wouldn't, wouldn't do half this stuff on a job site, so. <laughs> uh, my trainer at footy. He was a brickie and he gave me a few weeks labour and then stuck with it, so, yeah. When I'm not a brickie, I'm playing footy on the weekends and socialising with friends. 
Yeah, um, yeah I try to speak fine because a lot of friends are doing it and it's a good job to have and yeah, I enjoy, enjoy doing it. Yeah. I joined the bricklaying because i got heaps of mates doing it and I love being outside in the sun and working hard. Well, when I'm not a brickie, I like to spend a lot of time with my girlfriend. Um, I like getting outside, doing some sports and that, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, probably the most difficult part of this one is going to have to be all the cuts. And, uh, yeah, just getting all the cuts right and getting them done in time. Because there's a lot of cuts for the time frame we've got, so should be interesting. Yeah, it makes it a bit easier as well, like, with the teacher. Like, it helps, uh, like, helps when he's that setting it out and he just passes it to us. Oh, this is feature uh, work. Yeah, because we usually do, I do a lot of commercial work in Sydney, so it's heaps different. It's just straight runs or there's no feature work involved. Lines, you're laying through a line. <laughs> My advice would be just to take your time and get her all right from the start. And, yeah. Yeah, same with that. Um, just take your time and make sure everything's right. Uh, yeah, if I wasn't a brickie, I'd probably be a bowl shop assistant. <laughs> if I wasn't a bricklayer, I reckon I'd be a brain surgeon. Being part of teams, it's, yeah, it's a good part, good it's part of the job. Very important to work work with your team members as well. So yeah, work, work alongside each other. PDR yeah, take CT is, is easy to work with. Yeah, yeah cruisy fella. Uh, apprentice numbers have fallen over the past two years and that's a result of uh, a reduction in building activity where there's a housing shortage uh, and there's going to be more work when the cycle returns and these boys and the people who are qualified and done the work to get qualified will have uh, a, a bright future. We're very keen to portray the skills, the success stories in the industry so others will follow and we'd like these people to become um, competent bricklayers and block layers become builders and lead the industry to represent the, 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 the brick companies that produce the product. So as I say, we're very, very keen supporters. Uh, we, we like to see the best and this is the cream of the crop. This, these boys here, there's, there's um, 12 teams of two apprentices each and out of uh, a, a workforce of 25,000 bricklayers and an, an apprentice uh, in training number of uh, 2,000 apprentices these are the ones who lead the, lead the pack. They're, they're skilled, they're competent, they're mature, they learn quickly, and you'll see through the event the hand skills are of an exceptional level. And uh, we congratulate all the boys who came here, and of course the ones who'll take out the prize. Yeah, the most difficult part of the job is probably uh, getting up in the morning <laughs> uh, and the cuts. The cuts are pretty difficult. Um, well, I guess on site uh, you can make a few more mistakes, but here, like, 
knew it made a difference. So. Um, my old man was a brickie, and I just seen him when I was younger laying bricks, and so I've always wanted to be one from there. Yeah, I've just always wanted to be one. Got told I couldn't do it, so I kind of set myself a challenge. The best thing about laying concrete blocks is the walls go up a lot quicker when they're straight and if they don't have any cuts in it, it goes up a lot quicker, that's for sure. Um, more money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it does pay more, yeah. Uh, I chose bricklaying because my whole family's, it runs through my family. My uncles and my father's a bricklayer, so just try to keep it in the family and yeah, it seemed pretty good at the time, so I just took it on. Well, uh, I'm a brick guy with me granddad, dad and my brother. The oh, most difficult part probably getting to the brick saw. Okay. Like, too many people on there and trying to get there. There's only a couple of brick saws. Also, the most difficult bit is keeping up with what you think the standard is of everyone else is doing, so just the pressure. Different than being on site because I'm not getting yelled at or picked on. <laughs> uh, different than being on site because they don't really do much of this fancy stuff, so it's a bit different. Chose the do bricklaying because there was a job free when I was at school and I was ready to leave, so I just took it on. I chose to do bricklaying because I did work experience for bricklayer and I enjoyed it, seeing the work at the end of the day. Yeah, the most difficult part has been probably time management, trying to figure out how long to get. We've got the cuts and stuff and trying to get it all in within the time frame. I know a lot of people struggle with that. Yeah, they're going to be that same thing, not enough time. Because uh, on a normal job you wouldn't be putting all that sort of stuff into a wall. You'd normally just straight walls with sills or something like that, rather than all the decorative into it. Yeah, you've only got one go to cut at it. Oh, you only have one chance to cut it, one chance to put it in. There's no, no real second goes, otherwise you run out of time. Uh, block laying apprentices are generally about the same and it's, it's nice to be able to look at ones from all parts of the country. Western Australia, Tasmania, Victoria, Queensland, New South Wales and uh, they, they do things together and that's another thing I like too in this competition there's good camaraderie between all the, uh, all the teams and uh, this year they're, they're pushing today sometimes you can sort of coast to the finish sometimes you've got to pull out all stops today's one of those days where they've got to pull out all stops to get the competition complete Let's get you guys down the plum and show you what you have to do. <laughs> it's probably easy just to go on the concrete against it. Okay? So, three mil? Yep. Oh, two. There's that. Yep. That's three. 
Square, yeah, so we're going to do square and square the inclined ramp. Have you got any okay. tips or advice? <laughs> I was going to take it home for my son. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get a. Um, oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, it's right, it's good. What's the uh, colour scheme? This industry offers excellent career opportunities for bricklaying apprentices with the drive and the ambition to succeed and to be the best they can. As I said, ABBTF are very enthusiastic about this competition and I would like to we would like to continue our support in the years to come. We're investing in quality bricklayers for the future and success stories that others will want to follow. And there's plenty of success stories here. Thanks, Elizabeth. Good evening, everyone. And it's a great pleasure to be here at these Golden Trowel Awards. I've got to say, I can only marvel at uh, your skills as apprentices of the trades. I come from a, a generations, in fact, of carpenters and shipwrights. And uh, they used to build uh, square riggers that went around the world from, from Holland. And uh, I must say, though, I was sort of a bit of a break from tradition. I couldn't hammer a nail in straight. And what do you do if you come from uh, generations of carpenters and shipwrights and you can't hammer a nail in straight and you join the federal parliament, I guess? So, uh, you know, this, this host cares for all people. Um, there again, you still see one of the for the lighthouse keeper. We've got the gate, we've got the three boys, we've got the lane. Bringing the uh, outside environment into the house, and of course, there's plenty of parking for your uh, airplane blowing jumbo jet. So, up there, now I'm going to take you down onto the beach in a beach buggy, a girl in a very skimpy bikini. <laughs> Um, how are you? Dale B.T.F. Put some down there with the feet here. Yeah, boys. Oh. Um, we've got our... Uh, yeah, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Up here on a thousand years. You'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> three and a half elements in a three element time slot and it really pushed hard. So for the guys that didn't actually com completely you know, get the whole thing done, sorry, um, you gave it a really good shot though. And uh, there's a couple of special stories around the competition. For those guys that pulled together and helped one another out, um, beautiful. That's part of what, you know, I, I do what I do because I see the help and the camaraderie and you know, young fellas pulling together. So. Yeah, it's wonderful. So let's go again in 2015. Yeah. Well done. The winner of the 11th biennial Golden Trout competition is Central Queensland Institute of Taste. Obviously, from that reaction, it's, it's, um, you can see what a huge thing it is to, to win it. Um, so, uh, <laughs> oh man, oh. So to just names popping in my head to Ray who designed it, to, to Tony, uh, to Elizabeth, um, to people who've uh, sort of encouraged us along the way, like Jeff Towns from Newcastle, um, and to the CMAA, to the ABTF. Um, we appreciate the opportunity coming down here. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's just amazing. So thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Oh, yeah. 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 Ye
Josh, aka Lou, um, and, and Tyson. Um, these guys and, and a lot of other rookies here get judged on the way they look, you know. Beautiful that. that. Um, they come up, they come to college and and uh, you always gotta you always gotta wait to to see what's in the package. And uh, these two are brilliant. Over the last two days I've been absolutely amazed and actually astounded by the level of the work that these young bricklayers have completed. In particular I think a lot of them have recognised that just being here is an achievement in itself and a lot of them have worked so hard to make sure that they make their teacher proud of what they can achieve. And on behalf of the Concrete Masonry Association of Australia, we are so impressed by the level of skill of these talented young players. We know that there is a wonderful future for brick and block laying in Australia. to meet us there. 